Hi everyone, this is uh, just a quick video just to show you how you can make sure you're handing in your assignments on Google Classroom correctly because we've had um, lots of reports of people um, not managing to do that correctly and obviously if it's handed in in the right way it really helps your teachers. So I'm going to go in and open up my Google Classroom here as a teacher and what we'll see is that I've posted two assignments. There's an offline assignment and an online assignment. Okay, they're also listed in the classwork here. Now you'll notice first of all that there's a ch um, a, an assignment that was created here which is grayed out and, and that's because it's in draft for me. Um, if you see that in your student view and an assignment is grayed out, it's because you've already handed it in and you don't need to worry about it anymore. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the online work because that's the most common. Um, and what I've done is I've created an assignment um, called a haiku. Uh, I'm using Google Slides and I've asked that you use the 575 format and remember you don't have to rhyme. And if we go in and look from a teacher's perspective, we can see that I've got one student in this particular demo classroom. Um, and as yet, um, it's been assigned, but they've not handed it in. And the instructions that I gave them is exactly here. OK, so I'm going to jump out of that now and go in on the student view. And here's my student classroom. You'll notice that the mark book doesn't show here, but it is telling me that Something has been updated, my stream's been updated, and I need to refresh that. And I can see that there's two classes, or two assignments that's been set. So I'm gonna click on this first one, because that was the first one set. Remember that they stack in order, a bit like social media. So create a haiku. Okay, what does, what does Sir want us to do? He wants us to use the format. Remember, it doesn't have to rhyme. And I get this little prompt if I'm going in for the first time. When I'm ready to submit, I just click hand in here. So I'm gonna say I've got that. And here's my work. It's already been created for me because as a teacher, I selected to give everyone their own copy. Uh, so here I'm just gonna enter my text. So um, for example, it's Saturday, it's morn. I am home on my own. I am home all on my own, making videos. There we go, and that's my haiku. Now, what a lot of people have been doing has been going up when they think they're finished and then sharing it with their teacher or coming over here to the email and emailing it as an attachment to their teacher. But that takes this work out of Google Classroom in terms of being handed in. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to go there. We want to go back to our assignment, back to Google Classroom, and just select hand in. And it asks us if we're absolutely sure, and then we hand it in. If we suddenly realize, oh, I forgot to add something, that's not a problem, because we will get the option. As you can see there to unsubmit, we can bring it back again and just add final thing in here. That's now gone to my teacher and they can mark it and any private comments that they send will come back here and let me know how well I've done. So that's how we hand in um, a assignment from that perspective. If I now go in from the teacher's view and look at the student work, we can see that we've got one turned in. It's asking for me for a mark uh, and here I can click on the work and have a look at it. So there we go. I can pop it out if I want to as a teacher. So I'm having a look at this. They've followed the 575 format. It's quite appropriate. So I'm going to score them 100 marks out of 100 for that and just say, well done, great effort. Post it and then return that. So they will know what marks they've received. When I now go back to my Google Classroom, to the main page, if I go to grades or mark book, you'll be able to see that it started to add those scores in there um, and I can start to create that. But the offline assignment hasn't been done yet from a teacher's perspective. If we go back to the student view, we can see there's that private comment come through um, and it's told me up here what my score is on that particular topic. So I'm gonna come back out now as a student, I'm gonna close that, I don't need to save it, and I'm gonna look at my offline assignment. And sir, so, okay, this is where we add anything that we've created for ourselves. So whether we've drawn something or whether we've created our own document or whether we've taken a photo of something, this is where we go. 
So Sir wants us to take a photo of something from a strange angle and upload it before you hand it in. Okay, well, I've, I've actually already done that and I've emailed it to myself and I've got it sitting on my computer. So I'm just gonna go up here to add or create. I'm gonna go to file, pick it up from my computer and select it from my device. And there it is, and it's a photo there. So I'm just gonna upload that. It might take a couple of seconds just to pull it through completely. And now you see the hand in option appears. So I can hand that in and that shares that with my teacher. If I then go back into the teacher view, if I have a look at the classwork now, you can see here's our offline assignment. If I open that up, I can see that one's been turned in. I can go and have a look at that. I can see this very dodgy photo that's been taken or from a strange angle. I can give that a grade and say something along the same lines and return it and select it as marked. And then back into my Google Classroom. Again, if I go back to the grades, we can see all of that's been connected. If I go back to the student view, we can see the marks come back, the comments have come back, and also so have the marks. So that's how we do it from the point of view of submitting two different types of work, both online and offline using Google Classroom. And hope you find that really useful.